Hello, today is a great day for a miracle. Thank you for taking a walk with us into this world of miracles where we explore a series of spectacular incidents that took place during the life and times of Jesus Christ. These we call miracles. I am Reverend Ronald Nathan and I'm the minister at the Hogard Amy Zion Church in Jackson St. Michael on the island of Barbados. A miracle is an extraordinary and astonishing happening that is due to the presence and actions of God. These miracles that we are looking at makes us exclaim, Oh my God! And so we've called them Oh my God moments. Today, we explore the sixth meditation on Jesus' healing of a woman of Canaan found in Matthew 15, 22 to 28. However, today I am focusing on one line found in verse 24, where Jesus answers, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Her accent, culture, communal history, and even gender may have affected how she had progressed in society, but her faith broke the prejudice barrier and allowed her to see a way through for the healing of her daughter. That's the Canaanite woman we are speaking of. As we seek to consider the varied types of prejudice persons face in our society every day, we have to ask, how do we go about getting justice for this little girl whose life is being ripped apart by evil spirits? She's lying at home, being taken care of by servants, while her mother is dealing with prejudices that could easily lead to discrimination. You see, prejudice is the choices we make to stay within the comfort zone of our own culture. Discrimination is when we use our power or influence to stop someone from outside of our culture progressing or gaining justice. The first is prejudice. Prejudice is based on our cultural customs. That process that we go through to develop our sense of security about how things are around us and our view of the world. However, the second, discrimination, is based on bigotry and injustice that dehumanizes the other people or the other person because they're not from our culture, race, ethnicity, or gender, or social class and we therefore deny them access to services, services such as education, employment, or in health, as is the case in this particular text. The biblical text here in Matthew chapter 15 reveals the first and the threat of the second. Except this girl's mother was determined that she would let her humanity secure a miracle or open the door for a miracle. She would allow her faith to be seen. Have mercy, she cried. Help me. She placed her faith in the one before her, even though social, ethnic, and gender barriers may have existed. This young girl's healing was based on a mother's faith confronting prejudice and refusing to accept discrimination against her human need. This young girl will grow up in Canaan and will have a Canaan, Canaanite identity, but her humanity will not be denied. Her life may be dominated by Canaanite ways, mannerisms, and customs, but she is a member of the human family. 
Jesus said, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. This identifies the site of his revelation and reception, that is, the people of Israel. What it does not do is to limit the liberating power of the gospel. The good news is global, even when it is located in a local situation. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. That is true, that Jesus was sent to and received into the human family of Israel. What was false was that human created barriers can never stop faith. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. That was true to the extent that he had to be made flesh and dwell among some identifiable people. And those were the Jews. What was not true was the spread and relevance of his message and his ministry. That could not be limited to Israel. This was for the whosoever will. Any time we try to place the gift of God in a box and fail to appreciate the human need, we become bigoted fundamentalists and separatists. Jesus chose to enter into a conversation and found his prejudice confronted by faith. So there you have it. God the Father working the extraordinary through his Son for his praise and glory. Amen.